there's plenty written and talked about about an overswing and quite rightly so an overswing can cause lots of problems but some golfers suffer with the opposite problem of actually having a short swing and they they often get into this habit of having a short swing because they feel it gives them control and maybe they're right if i only ever swung this club two feet back and two three feet through chances are i'm never going to miss the fairway i'm always going to hit the ball nice and straight down the middle but the reality is i'm severely hampered with how good i can be as a golfer because the ball just simply won't go far enough and we know that the game of golf is played on a relatively long golf course often over six six and a half thousand yards so at some point we're going to have to get the ball out there and give it a decent dig and hit it quite a long way. And by nature of trying to hit the ball a long way, we're gonna need a bit of club head speed. And to get club head speed, we need a run up. And that's really all that backswing is. It's just allowing us to have a run up. So from a good address position, the shorter my run up, the less power I'm gonna hit the ball with. If it, I can have a slightly longer run up, I can get more power. Longer run up, more power. Longer run up, even more power we get to a degree of a point where we say actually that's too much power or too little control because the further back we go we get more power we lose control we get more power we lose even more control so for most golfers we would say swinging the club between two and three o'clock is perfect that works on the principle that straight up behind me vertical is 12 o'clock one o'clock two o'clock three o'clock is horizontal for most golfers three o'clock with their driver is considered to be a good limit if we get the club at four five o'clock it's too long we lose control but likewise if we don't get past 12 o'clock one o'clock and then we struggle to hit the ball out here a long way it stands to reason if you do not give yourself a big enough run up you won't be able to generate the power to hit the shot and it isn't just simply a case of where the club goes to it's what did you move to get that club into that position because if i swing the club up to vertical but i haven't moved my shoulders very far i haven't got that shoulder power in my downswing it's just going to be hands and arms and for lots of golfers that only swing short it's possibly just hands and arms and then they're not using the body efficiently if we start to turn the body more we might start to see that club goes further than the 12 o'clock round to the one o'clock round to the two o'clock now we can start to unwind that body position to generate more power so a really good checkpoint for yourself is get yourself a video camera or even just a mate with your iphone get him to stand opposite you there as you hit some shots and it's important you hit shots not practice swings we can all swing perfectly in a practice swing we can all look in the mirror and make sure we're in a good position when it comes to hitting a ball often golfers get tense they get tight they get quick the tempo changes and the swing gets really short so video camera from the front on there make some good quality swings hit some proper shots and see what time your club head goes to if you're getting it between two o'clock and three o'clock that's fine if you have uh, maybe age isn't on your side or you have flexibility and back issues you could expect to be between one o'clock and two o'clock if your swing is shorter than 12 and you don't hit the ball as far as you would like do something about lengthening your swing start turning your body more start generating more power and get rid of that short golf swing